everyone, this is Anam and you are watching Babujan Access. So today we are going to discuss about why do we forget things. You know, uh, we all uh, tend to forget everything uh, or we can say uh, we tend to forget uh, for every now and then. Uh, it's actually happened. So in this video, we'll discuss uh, about the scientific reason behind that. That what is our actual uh, scientific logic, scientific reason, why do we forget? things so uh, let's uh, start uh, with a very simple example uh, if i ask you uh, do you remember uh, the birthday of your bestie uh, or if i say uh, do you remember the birthday of your father your mother of course 99 percent even 100 percent people do know very well and at the same time if i ask uh, that uh, uh, what kind of a uh, outfit you wore five days ago i know uh, Absolutely, you're thinking right now. Uh, you definitely have no idea about that. What outfit you actually wore five days ago? Even I don't remember. So this is the question: Why do we forget? What is the reason? What is the scientific reason behind that? So and to get the answer to know about that, you have to learn about the memories that are, I must say, the part of your uh, complex and if I must say it's multi-talented brain, you have to learn about the memories to getting the answer why do we forget. So let's start with very simple example. Let's have a look. Okay, uh, well, if we take some simple example, suppose you're reading a book, okay? When you're reading a book, your mind, your brain get active suddenly. And when your brain get active, it transfer the data, move that data into a pulse of electric energy, right? Well, from there, that travel through the network of neurons. You read a book, your brain get active, and it actually it uh, move or uh, transfer all the information, the important information, uh, you must say, uh, sent into the pulse of electric energy, and with that through a travel uh, with a network of neurons into the shorter memory you know your brain has actually shorter memory as well as long-term memory and when the information the data can reach uh, uh, at the shorter uh, shorter memory we say here actually data store hardly for a couple of minutes and if shorter memory this part uh, Consider that that information, that data is uh, uh, vital, it's important enough. It actually transfer all the data into the long-term memory by the hippocampus with the help of hippocampus. And from long-term memory, it actually sent all this information, all the data into the different areas of the cerebral cortex. So this is actually a short part that how the information travel starting uh, from your brain and uh, through pulse of electric energy while traveling through uh, with a different network of neurons and, and go towards the short-term memory, the long-term memory and finally carryable cortex. So this is all about how you remember or how you memorize the thing, how the information uh, you know start and getting uh, at their uh, you know the destination we can say so this is uh, one of the thing uh, that how you memorize but the question is why we tend to forget the question is that actually uh, there is no need for us uh, to maintain everything in our brain and because of that uh, the short-term memory actually very less space or we can say the limited capacity even uh, it actually hardly contain uh, more than or in fact seven items at a time uh, in the system and uh, that no more for longer uh, for two to three seconds hardly so you can imagine how less or how limited capacity short-term memory has so if uh, a short-term memory consider that it is important enough that information is only transferred to the long-term memory while uh, the other uh, data it considered, uh, you know, the less important, it's eradicated, it's erased from the short-term memory. 
and the other uh, data that is important go towards the long term memory where it stored for a longer period and it's just because of a short term memory has limited space and to get uh, a wide overloading that's the reason uh, it actually contains the uh, most important and wider data and the less important data get eradicated or erased from the system so uh, it's uh, the actual basic, uh, basic thing and then why do we forget you know it's it's absolutely normal uh, many of us uh, we, we tend to forget it's normal uh, like uh, you you uh, sometime uh, you forget where you uh, place your phone uh, last time sometimes students forget to get uh, uh, answer on a test it's often and most of the uh, you know this thing mostly happen with the student you must agree and uh, typically um, if you talk about when you are getting older when you when you are, when you are uh, growing older typically we tend to forget the thing but uh, the important thing actually if you find yourself uh, forget the thing uh, every now and then this is actually the problem and for that you have to take some steps that uh, I'm gonna be discuss with you have a look well uh, you should take these steps uh, to keep your brain to keep your mind healthy if you talk, uh, talk about the first one uh, the physical activities physical activities and in case of physical activities uh, there are uh, much more exercises you can do and uh, if you talk about the uh, playing more, there are so many games you can play to keep your mind to keep your brain or even you keep your body healthy so exercises then playing method uh, this play you know a very wider role if you adopt this stuff the physical activities the exercise and the uh, any kind of a game you like it keep your brain healthy and uh, at the same time uh, if we uh, talk about uh, number two uh, yeah eat healthy most important point eat healthy you know your brain actually uh, need the right nutrients so eat healthy food to keep your brain fresh to keep your brain working effectively this is very important and uh, Okay, if we talk about the third one I mentioned there, if you can see, hope so, workout session, workout session, give a good workout uh, session to your mind, uh, like uh, uh, solving different kind of a puzzles and uh, learning different languages, exposing a challenges, there are so many things to do to keep your mind health, uh, healthy and fresh and keep working effectively. And these are some uh, important uh, steps uh, we can say I share with you. And uh, at the next uh, point, if we discuss about some certain memory problem, uh, like first when we have uh, Alzheimer disease, Alzheimer's disease, sorry for the spelling if it's wrong, okay, uh, in this disease actually uh, your nerve cells stop working, you know, and it's lead to memory loss, so it's one kind of a severe disease uh, due to the memory problem, uh, and if you talk about the chronic stress, yeah, there's chronic stress and then there is a depression all of you are familiar with this depression when any person anybody uh, going through a depression it's you know uh, difficult to maintain your regular routines you openly uh, forget uh, tend to forget the things uh, it's it's mostly happen with the people at uh, if you talk about uh, at, at this stage uh, and uh, okay, uh, like uh, there's uh, isolation. So these are actually uh, some kind of a uh, uh, you know the memory problem, and uh, that could be severe, and it affect your short term memory uh, to work uh, you know 
uh, effectively. So it's it's affect the ability of uh, short term memory. I must say. So uh, try to um, keep all kind of a steps that I discuss you like physical activities, exercise, uh, playing uh, games, then uh, eat healthy food as your mind, uh, you know, brain need right nutrients and then uh, workout session. So many, you know, things I have to do. And uh, at the end of the video, uh, there's a one question for you actually. And the question is, which important part uh, which important part of your uh, brain of your brain process I may say processes the memories this is a question for all of you which important part of the brain processes the memory if you know the answer or write your answer uh, in the comment section below if you know the answer and uh, I'll definitely check it out and uh, I'm waiting for your feedback and if you like this video hit the like button and if you don't uh, have not subscribed my channel yet then what are you waiting for subscribe it right now and be the part of biology Nexus. thank you so much for watching catch you in the next video take care